just finished wiring up this little gadget here. If you turn it on, you can hear the fan go. Yeah, this silver object over here. So um, and what that does is it takes 240 volts from here, which at the moment is connected into the shore power, and it puts it into a 240 to 12 volt converter. And then inside here, there's a breaker, circuit breaker over here which then turns on the power, connects this cable here through to the motor on the other side of the battery to the electric motor and drive the boat. And there's just a earth wire running from it down to the battery over here. So anybody coming after me can understand what the system does and the idea is that you either have the, the whole system turned off or the breaker turned off the last breaker before the, en before the engine, the electric motor. The last breaker you have that off so that disconnects the battery power and then you connect this on and that will then connect it to this power here. Now, the generator needs to be plugged in to the shore power instead of the shore power. So that's the idea. But it can be tested, it's easy, good to test it with the shore power, make sure it's all working. Which it is. So I just I'd say one comment, it's quite difficult working with a thick wire. It can't bend very well and you know it's going on to small terminals really. Terminals were not really designed for such heavy cabling, even though it's a 60 amp, I think it's a 60 amp unit. It's actually got three terminals, so not really one 60 amp terminal. But I've just connected to one of the 60 amp terminals because I figure it's just a bus bar underneath there. So that's how we work our generator connected to the electric engine. Either or, really. And, um, I've still got a few other things to do, which I'll put in another video before I finish here. But this was the main thing to do, was to get the generator ready and hooked up to find out what I needed. There was one piece that I was missing, um, a special cable that goes, plugs into the generator and connects in place of the shore power. So I have ordered one of those and that should be coming along now. So everything is ready to go as far as the generator running the engine is concerned.